I'm delighted to be joined by Kilkenny's TJ Reid to celebrate that Littlewoods Ireland has rebranded to Very, and as part of this rebrand, customers can now shop over 1,800 brands on Very.ie. To find out more about this, uh, visit Very.ie. TJ, delighted to have you on the show. How are things with you? Yeah, good. Yeah, can't complain all as well. Yeah, you've been doing a bit of travelling since the All-Ireland final. You were off out in France, if your, your Instagram is to be believed. I was out in Nice there, yeah, yeah, I suppose you can't get away from social media these days. Um, but look, it was it was, um, it was the only week that I could get the opportunity to, to just to head away, relax and just chill out um, because we've club championships now starting up again. So, so yeah, look, it was lovely in Nice, was lovely, weather was good and, and the food was good as well. Any particular highlights? I mean, it's, it's probably been a mental old year for you considering going from Ballyhale back into, I think you... You're probably carrying a bit of an injury and then you went into the Kilkenny season and then you're straight back into club again. Yeah, it's a hectic year. Um, it's it's gone it's gone to the next level, so it is. And I know we're only amateur sports, but um yeah, it's, it's very demanding on the body. Um, you know, we went to the Club All Ireland in February. Um, I had an injury, um, so I had to rest for twelve weeks with that. And I was on going over over the Leinster Championship and leading into the All Ireland final. So um, I had twelve weeks off there after that. Um, but I, after that, then when I came back, then it was League Championship, then Inter Championship, and now it was straight straight into club. So very demanding. Um, like obviously in the summertime, the weather is good, so it is enjoyable as well. Obviously, the All Ireland was 20, 27, 28 degrees. You know, so. Um, so in those conditions and those circumstances, um, you know, it's nice to play hurling in, in those days. I'm wondering, what is it that uh, that's allowing you to continue to, to play at such a high level despite you know being 34, 35? It's very rare. Um, age is only a number, uh, Shane. Um, I suppose. Look, I look after myself very well. Um, my industry is is in the health and fitness um, business, so. It does allow me to um, take proper care of myself and, um, and prioritize health and fitness. So I suppose that does allow me to, um, to, to, to prepare my body the best I can. And I suppose, look, I'm, 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 very, I'm very lucky that I haven't sustained any major injuries. Um, you know, so that does allow you to train hard and train hard on the field and train hard um, on the pitch and then once you take off those boxes and um you know uh, when you have everything done in the back of your mind that does allow you to perform to your best and uh, look I, i'm still able to perform at 34 looking back at my career i'm 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 fitter and, fitter and stronger than i was 20 at uh, 24 so um because obviously with certain conditioning over the last couple of years it's gone to the next level so i've been very lucky that we had um mick dempsey back back a couple of years ago uh, was excellent in terms of preparation wise and then what we had uh, Mickey Comfort over the last three or four seasons as well so I'm working with um with top class individuals as well that that obviously allows me to to I suppose get the best and do you, do you can how long more do you think you can uh, continue playing at inter-county level I uh, don't know I don't know I, I never um I never look too far ahead and you can't really because um, as you've seen with Park now this year in Tipperary got knocked out with an awful injury. So like next year is another six six months ahead, and we have another three months of club hurling um, to 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 play play with. So uh, I go as long as my body can go. Um, if that's a year, two years, three years, four years, I'll, I'll continue to do that. Um, but I never mm -hmm. look too far ahead because you can't in sport. You have to look at the present and the future. You, you don't know what's going to happen. And um, as I said, six months is a long time to be looking down the future. And as I said, I'm just getting back to the club action now. So as I said, my body is good. My fitness levels are top class. My strength is, is very good. And who knows, in six months' time, you just don't know what's around the corner. But I'll go for, I'll go for as long as I can. Yeah, and you know, there's so much talk about the, the Kilkenny management situation since Brian Cody has stepped down. Are you hearing much, or is it just uh, it just seems to be very difficult to, to know what's going on at the moment in terms of who's next in? Yeah, I'm, I'm like yourself. Um, the news broke on the Saturday, and I was flying out to Nice, so um, I missed I missed everything for the whole week. Um, 
So look, there's lo- there's loads of names um, popping around the table, but with with Kilkenny and the county board, they run a very tight ship. Um, so I don't know. I, I I seriously don't know because um, because as I said, there's, there's there's great names being mentioned. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next couple of weeks. And do you see it that this Kilkenny team is only on the start of a new journey? That this year getting to an All Ireland final, that there's more to come. Um, look, I believe so. Um, back in 2019, uh, we lost the tip, and um, half the team that played in the All Ireland final two weeks ago, there was six or seven new lads. So, and the team is very young, and the average age is 24, 25. Take myself out of it, <laughs> it goes it goes right back down. Um, so yeah, young team coming through and um, some great players coming through. They're on the twenties, bet Limerick in a great All Ireland final as well. So we have a few of those players coming through as well. So look, I think um, the important thing is that we're competing. Um, the last two years we got to semi finals and didn't go over the line. So that was a big motivation this year was to get try to get back to the All Ireland final and compete. And and we did so. We we competed competed very well in the All Ireland final. Uh, we went toe to toe with a great Limerick team, and unfortunately, just just they had a little bit too much for us. But look, I think there's a great future for Kilkenny. As I said, um, whatever the, Brian has left Kilkenny hurling in a, in a great place. Uh, he he blooded um, uh, Mickey Butler and um, Keane Kenny this year. You know, so those lads will be a year older and year year stronger next year as well. So look, there's, there's a great panel coming through the new manager has has an easy job next year coming in because the team has already built there and now it's now it's trying to get to the next step so yeah no it's a it's going to be an interesting few months can, can you talk to me a little bit about you know the all ireland club final and the injury that you were carrying did you have to get an operation and then you know you were probably trying to play catch up to get ready for leinster yeah, so um, I, I, t- I, t- I tore my groin um, in the county final last, it was last November, and then we had Leinster semi-final, Leinster final, um, played through it. Um, obviously, I only, there's, there's only a week, two weeks gap between games, and obviously, look, your club, you try to do your best to play through it, and obviously, playing through it, through it wasn't the smartest thing to do, and it got worse and worse, and then I picked up... Um, Osteo has pubis as well uh, on my pubic bone, um, which um, it, before the other in semi final, I only trained on the field. There's three or four weeks leading up to the other in semi final against St. Thomas's, and I only trained on the field twice because I, I wasn't able to. Um, and even leading up to the All Ireland, I trained twice in the field as well. And, 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 and now, um, I say train. I was only putting around because uh, because I couldn't I couldn't do anything anything more. Um, so yeah, look, I had a small injury and then obviously got to the All Ireland and then I had to get an, I get an injection into me into my tendon um, and that took six eight weeks of of rehab. So I couldn't train um, with with the county boys um, on that spell. But lucky enough. I was heading away on my honeymoon um, for two to three weeks. So it was perfect timing to, in one way to do your rehab on, on the honeymoon and, and rest up. So there's six, eight weeks there where um, I couldn't train. I couldn't, all I could do was make my own little rehab stuff. And then it was six, eight weeks then starting from jogging. Now. I mean, jogging at, at a very low pace and then building myself up because they, with, with osteos pubis, if you go back too quick and you put more volume on it, the, um, the pubic bone will get just get more inflamed and inflamed again, and it could have been out of action for another six, eight weeks. So it was a slow process. So it did. Obviously, I missed probably twelve weeks of conditioning while the boys were, you know, in peak condition. So I did. I was a little bit slow this year, um, but in one way, I finished strong, um, which, which obviously, um, obviously, I was. You know, getting myself ready for the later stage of of championships. So, in one way, in hindsight, it worked out okay. Yeah, and and then I suppose just with with Ballyhale, you weren't there for the match at the weekend. A lot of play, a lot of your star players, Colin Fenley, Joey Holden, and there was somebody else was your brother Richie as well. Yeah, Are you preparing for another big tilt with them? Is is the body good to go for another push with Ballyhale? Yeah, we are. Yeah, look, we we um we had I think seven of the. 
All Ireland team that played in February February were, were missing um, due to um, personal um, issues and injuries as well. Um, so yeah, we're like we're, we're all back now. Um, Joey Holding is 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 um, on holidays for the next year or two. Um, so he's he's retired for us. Um, massive loss to us. So he is massive loss. So everyone else is, is available. Colin is is out in um, San Fran on a J one, even though he's 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 thirty two. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, he's missing the first three league games and he's back then for the last two um, league games and then it's in the championship then um, so look we have plenty of time um, as I said we're all back now we have we have four games now in the next five weeks and then it's in the championship then so look we are, we're definitely look, we're we're hurting still this year the all Ireland final was a, a disaster um, you know, and there was a sucker punch, and so we're still hurting from that. And those losses will give you great motivation to go on again and try to um, compete. And this year with Bally Hill, we're going for five in a row in Kilkenny, so we have, we have a huge motivation this year. And it's our 50th anniversary in Bally Hill as well. So we have a lot to play for, and we have um, a new management team in this year as well. And they're they're top class, and um, training is going very well. And we ran Clara very, very close, even though we we're missing seven starting players. We lost by a pint, and um, Owen Cody missed a, a 65 um, free. So my, my, uh, my free duties might be, might be um, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, look, TJ, brilliant chatting to you, and best of luck with the, the hurling in the, in the future. Thanks very much, Ian.